So good evening, everyone, to Wednesday night skill building. My name is Debbie Barnett. Welcome. If anybody hasn't been here before, please do put it in chat in YouTube or in Zoom. And I think I recognize everybody's faces on Zoom. I'm going to get go ahead and get started and head over to I Love Maj. Okay, here we are at I love Maj.com where I play Wednesday night skill building against their the bots and my friends. Um well, we're becoming quite tight, the bots and I. And uh I don't know. Sometimes uh they're on my best friend list and sometimes they're not, but we've been having a lot of fun uh playing against these bots that have built in intelligence here, as you could see. We have beginner, which is the standard, intermediate, and advanced. And if you're new to I Love Maj, you could start out with the standard. It'll give you the opportunity to win more games, but just know that they're going to do things that beginner players would do. So as soon as you're getting comfortable and feeling uh, your oats with the game, <clears throat> please feel free to level it up to intermediate. And you could even go to advanced. I don't think there's huge differences between the intermediate intelligence and the advanced, but some that uh, may be important to you at some point, which is calling another player's hand dead. And uh, the bots at advanced level can actually do that, which is kind of mind blowing to me because could you imagine they have to know and recognize any hand that's not viable on the card, uh, you know, to, uh, you know, to be able to do that. And I don't understand how the coding thing works, but it, knowing that I have an online platform that I teach on, I understand what goes into these things. So it is amazing to me. And I like I Love Maj, especially if you're a newer player, the exercise room is a great place to come in and help you learn the card and practice your skills, which is what it's all about. So if you're still feeling a little tentative about the card and about the Charleston and what to pass and all that, you need to come in here and practice. You really, really do. And of course, I am an affiliate of theirs, uh, and I'm not pitching this because of that uh, solely, but I am pitching it because I have studied and played on all of the platforms, and I uh, truly believe that this is the most in-person-like replication of playing Mahjong that you can possibly have. There are a lot of good platforms, so if you already belong to one, I'm not saying switch out from that to this, uh, but I do say hey, you could join more than one if you want because it's not a whole lot of money uh, and it's a very great gift that you can give yourself. Uh, so if you don't already have a membership, I have the link, the direct link under all of my skill building videos on YouTube, but you could also sign up and use uppercase D, uppercase B, uh, and that'll work the same when it says, do you have a code? All right, so let's go ahead and get started and welcome whoever just joined. I heard somebody come in, so welcome whoever just joined. And I'll go ahead and get started here and launch the game. And hello, hello, everybody watching from YouTube. Lower this down a little bit. And here, if you um, were to want to change your bot level, you could also do it on this screen. You could also put a timer on this. It gives you uh, some judgment as to how long it's taking you to make a decision once a tile is discarded. Best scenario is to be able to do it quickly. Quickly can happen during the first full third of the game or the first 33 tiles. And then the second third of the game, you still can go pretty fast, but you do have to pay a little bit more attention to what's going on. But truthfully be in the first third and the second third so through 66 tiles of the game uh, you should not have to stop and worry about what you're discarding or what you're throwing if that's the time to get tiles out that you think other players might need that you don't already see on the tile 
uh, otherwise known as what I call fresh tiles. And that's a very important thing to do if you want to build your hand, otherwise you'll jeopardize making mahjong. Because the longer you hold tiles, the harder it is for you to build your hand. Now, um, when you get to that third, last third, which is the last 33 tiles of the game, yes, things get a little bit more challenging. We have to take time. You'll hear people saying, give me a few seconds. I got to figure out what I'm doing and what, I, you know, whatever. I mean, we hear that even with the best players out there. So don't worry about it because it does happen at times, but you don't want to have to think every single tile that goes out and what you discard every time that's going to slow up the game. And that's part of learning how to be a better player is knowing when you could make that those faster decisions. So I'm going to leave it off for tonight. So I don't have to worry about a the timer. And by the way, with the timer, you could still pause it. So if you put it on 10 seconds and you need more time, you just hit a little pause button to uh, vertical lines. And there you go. You're fine. Everything's good to go. Make sure you have the right card checked here. If you're playing in here for the first time, very often somebody had been in here and tried it out a few years ago. And the other day somebody was like, can you tell me why this is in the hand? And they had the 2022 card checked because they had not used I Love Maj since 2022. So be careful about that. And First we'll Charleston. go ahead and hit the evening. Hello, Linda. Thanks for joining in, Bunny. All right. So I always sort by suit. And I'm blinded by the, not the light, but I'm blinded by the jokers here. Because I don't always start out with jokers. Right, Phyllis? Uh, and this is lovely to see three jokers here. And uh, normally I put my winds and dragons down to the right, but I'm going to let them sit there for right now because I have a feeling I might end up keeping them. Uh, I do like to start out with any multiples that I have because multiples are a strength in your hand. And that's not to say that sometimes you end up with multiples that you don't need. If you recall, I believe it was last Wednesday, I had four, I think it was four, four dots, something of the sort. And the way things changed during the game and after the Charleston, I ended up not needing those four, four dots. My hand was beautiful with everything else I had. And I know that sometimes you know, a newer player might look at that and they're like, oh my God, I can't believe it. I have to make it work with these four dots. Well, no, you have to go where the tiles take you. But I wasn't too upset about having four, four dots to discard because what would those be as the game moves on if I have four, all four of those tiles? They are safer tiles. So I've got a nice little buffer of safer tiles. So I call these safe tiles that I do try to prepare myself with when I play to have later on in the game. And I, I just refer to those as my buffer tiles. So uh, here we have a pair of three dots and looking at the threes and knowing the card the way I do, not by heart. I'm going to say, check to see if I have any other threes, and I do. So I have a little bit of like numbers going on. And any time I have like numbers, you know, I'm not going to say I'm playing line two of any like numbers. No, I know that there's only three hands under there, and I have the ability, if I want, to keep everything for all three hands possibly, which would also be the dragons, because line two uses the dragons. It could also be line three, because I do have a north and a south. So now we're going to move on from the any like number section, and we'll look around to see what else um, we could do with threes. Of course, I skipped the 2024. Nope, that was not a, a possible section. And I skipped two, four, six, eight, because threes are not in that. So for right now, I skipped all that. And now I could look at, uh, I could look at quince, of course, 
I should look at Quince, number one, because I have three jokers. And I could definitely keep track of line number two, uh, maybe other lines in there. But as if I look at the hand right now, it could be definitely line number two, which is probably one of the easiest quint hands that have ever been on the card. There are 864 ways to make that hand. So I have a pair of threes. I already have a couple of wins, so I don't know what's going to come in. And it requires any two suits and any numbers. So I would have to keep something else here. Not the three wouldn't work. So it could be uh, the seven bam or the six crack or the nine crack. And that's what would work there. Now, any one of these would work there. Now I have, let's go on to the, the rest. Consecutive run, not that you know, great this with this particular, uh, these tiles that were dealt in. Normally, I've got a lot of options with consecutive run, but I'm going to skip over it because I don't see a whole lot. I mean, I've got a six, seven, a little bit, but it doesn't work with my threes right now. So I'm just going to skip that. One, three, five, seven, nine. I have a little bit of it, but to be honest, I have more three, six, nine. That's looking nice for me rather than one, three, five, seven, nine. So I just visually can see that these tiles look great right now, the three, six, and nine, if I want to also keep track of that. And now what would I pass? Okay. Now, a lot of people have said to me, because I know there's other instructors out there that have a totally different perspective on teaching and what they think you should or shouldn't pass. I do not worry about passing two like numbers. I mean, honestly, I can create any three tiles in here unless there is one that has a three, an eight, and maybe a wind, which would be an extremely benign pass. But almost every other pass that I could put in here there's going to be something that somebody else could use to make some hand. So for me, I'm more worried about building my hand first and then trying to mix up suits the best that I can. But I don't want to worry about this because I don't, I want to keep a lot of this. So if I say I got to keep one of these, then I might give up an opportunity. So if I want to keep track of quince and that second line, which is right now one very good possibility, again, I have to keep any two non-matching numbers, different suits. So I could keep the six and the nine for the three, six, nine section. And now I've got, you know, a, a decision to make as to which one of these I would keep if I want to keep the north and the south. So I think I'm going to, yeah. So which one, what would I keep here? Let's see if I need to, um, either I, I could, oh, it's all so good. I don't want to get rid of anything right now at all. I want to keep it all. So let's create a blind pass on the first right. No, not, I'm only kidding. Um, I guess you just have to go with kind of a gut feeling right now. I'm going to have to give something up. Um, you know, I also love the last hand under Winds and Dragons. That always comes to mind, but I don't have a ton of wins. I just don't want to give those up right now if I'm going to think about Quint. So I, I got I to gotta get rid of something. So we see, let me show you this. If I do six... You could do a run, six, seven, right? If I do the nine, it could be five, seven, nine. I could find something good with every single pass, truthfully. Well, I got to pass something. So I guess um, maybe I'll do the six. The six may be a little less threatening. <laughs> All right. Again, feel free, by the way, I didn't mention this, to chime in and let me know if you 
see anything that you think might be a better option that I'm missing right now. I'm just kind of generally collecting tiles, any like numbers, uh, the quint section, maybe line two there, unless something else changes, and the 369, which I would love to keep the 64, but I can't. So here we go. Let's see what happens. So I did get another three. And that's nice to see that. Uh, and I don't, I know the eight's going to go for sure. The question is, do I still keep that nine for potential three, six, nine? Um, do I, you know, if I want to keep the north and south for a little bit, which, by the way, if I get the third line down in that Winds and Dragons section, I need a run. So that four crack could be pretty valuable in that particular area. So I think I need to keep that. Um, well, I think I'm going to have to go ahead and break up one of these here. And my choice would be the red. But look at this now, eight, nine in red. I mean, that's a beautiful pass as well, right? I'm telling you, every pass could be a great pass. You know, I, I'm sure for those of you that play, you have heard this more than once. You pass your tiles because you're in a situation like me and you have to give up three tiles. And you say to your opponent, you're going to love this pass. This is a whole hand. And what happens a lot of times? Well, they give you a little more, too much information. There's a way to not do that. but Typically, you're going to hear them pick it up, look at it and say, yeah, right. If I were going that way and they don't even rack the tiles or do anything and they move them on. So I've gotten good, valuable information because I know they don't need eight, nine cracks and they don't need the red. So just a suggestion. Fake it out. Don't say anything when they give you this great pass. Put them in your hand, mix them around, and then take the same tiles and pass them on if you want. It's just a little way to not give away a tile tell. So I think I'm going to go this way. Uh, the poor 369, not going to happen right now. But I have the potential of north, south, 3, 4. And I am still going to keep a good eye on that quint hand which you guys always remind me to do. Sometimes I forget, but not with three jokers. I don't want to forget. Well, got a seven back and uh, I don't need that in the nine. So this again, look at that. That's a, a beautiful, you know, hand. Now I could think about keeping the five for two, three, four, five. And I could do a blind pass if I want, just to see what happens. Maybe I'll do that. Let me see what happens. If I were to get a two dot, maybe I would change my mind and do something different. Let's see what happens. Well, I did not get it. But I did get a do you want to continue? And boy, if I... <laughs> I would like to not continue, but that would not be the smartest thing in the world for me to do right now because I would lose the opportunity of seeing uh, 12 potential tiles, you know. And yes, I mean, there could be a one, three, five with the soap. I mean, there's a lot of other little hands I can see on the card, but I think so far my safest options right now might be the north south with three, four, line three under Winds and Dragons. Haven't seen any North or South, but those are puns. So those are a little easier to make with jokers. And I definitely wanna keep track of the quint hand. So what am I gonna do here? I'm gonna continue. Second Charleston. And here we go again with two like numbers in a green. That's a, any like numbers hand. I'm telling you, you're gonna find good Good tiles in anything you pass. Rule of thumb, don't pass a pair and don't pass flowers because flowers are so needed in many hands and could be a great gift. So I guess this is what I'm going to do right now. We're, I, I don't love passing soaps if I can help it in the Charleston, but I will do it if I have to. 
because they have a dual role. Now, what did I say earlier? I said I might change my mind if I got a two and I might consider two, three, four, five. Well, what did I just do? I gave away the two dot. Um, and it's a possibility I could get it back. So if I want, you know, and of course I could keep this for a possible, but if I want to see if I get it back, I could pass this. Look at that beautiful pass. Like numbers with the soap. I mean, again, it could be any like numbers. Uh, and I think I'm going to try it to see if I get it back. What the heck? Um, oh, the three BAM I wasn't getting rid of, Carolyn, because of the, um, what was I doing originally? The three BAM I was keeping for any like numbers, but I did get rid of the um the dragon so the second line wouldn't work but it would work with any like numbers the last line so i think i'm going to keep it i just want to keep that three. Ah, oh, wow got back that green again let's see uh three six nine of course i could see three six nine again happening but i'm not going to go there i'm just going to get this out Courtesy Let's see what pass. happens. Oh my goodness, I got another three and the five back. Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. All right, well, I'll do three. Let's just see what happens. Interesting. I did get the four dot, which is like a brand new tile right now that was passed. Uh, two, three, four, if I get flowers. Interesting. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start. Oh, I got a three, two. So, you know, any like numbers is definitely a possibility here. Mm, if I had that five crack back, I would have had a nice bottom line consecutive run, three potential three, four, three, four with the five. Crack. Ooh, well, don't cry over spilt milk, Deb. All right, let's go ahead and start with the seven dot. I like to prioritize discards. If you uh, know that you have a tile left in your hand that you never passed in the Charleston, you want to get that out early because you always want to get tiles out that are not out first and then duplicate. There's plenty of time in this game to do that. But 99 tiles, if you take a look on the board, we're going to break it out into thirds when we are thinking about what we need to worry about. First third right now, pick and discard, pick and discard. Just don't discard what you need, <laughs> like I have done sometimes. Seven dot, soap, flower. Oh, whoever got that didn't need it. Well, that's good. A flower, flower. early, two flowers early. Now, I know the green went in and out, so I'm going to get it out just in case it ended up somewhere where somebody decided to use it green eight dot flower three flower Two crack amazing all right so now things might be changing up a lot right here because i have a beautiful run any like numbers which i never even was talking about initially because i had nothing to speak of for runs this is what i am saying Things do change so quickly in this game. You just can't discount anything. Now, what do I do? Do I go ahead and start giving up my north and south? Do I, I mean, I have, you know, this, I wouldn't need all three of these, but the fourth line down, even under consecutive run, if I were to get a two <clears throat> a BM, you know, I'd be pretty nicely set for that hand. So now I'm thinking, well, what do I do here? I mean, let's look at line one of quince, two, three, four, but I need flowers. What about line three of quince, three, four? What about that? Line three, because I've got that pair right there. But again, I wouldn't need that three dot. But I do still have an opportunity to keep track of that hand as well. 
So in this case, I think I'm going to go ahead and that line two, which is such a lovely hand, is not really working out for me very well. I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the four crack. Maybe something good will happen, and I'll get in some four bams. Let's see what happens here. And then I'll get rid of the north and south if I'm, I mean, I'm not getting them. I, I'm not getting them, even though I would need that for this. So can't keep everything. Four crack. South. And there goes the south that I couldn't call. Six bam. Green. And we don't need that for sure. And I'm pretty sure one of those went around in the Charleston. So that means I want to get it out. Eight crack. Call. Eight dot. Yep. So, you know, once you get good at this game, you'll start remembering what went around in the Charleston, and that does help a lot. But, you know, if you're a newer player and you knew that you passed an eight crack and you thought somebody was holding them and you said, oh, I can't get it out, you got to think exactly the opposite of that. You want to get out those fresh tiles early, early. It's so important. I'm not just saying it. Nine crack. Okay, I don't need that. Two crack. Five bam. Five dot. Six dot. All right, well, I will definitely keep that because if uh, the quit hand doesn't work out for any reason, I've got my beautiful four number run, which is the second from the bottom. Hung, hung, kong, kong. Hung, hung, kong, kong. And it's so pretty that right now I can call everything. So, yes, I'd love to play a quit hand, but, you know, let's, let's face it. This is pretty well set right now. So I would definitely need four BMs uh, to make any consideration possibly changing and doing that quit hand. So let's go ahead and do the south now. South. Nine crack. Four bam. Oh, there's that four bam. One less than I need for a quint. So that puts it down to the bottom of the barrel a little bit more. Seven dot. And no, don't need that. One bam. Seven bam. So I think, do I need it? I don't. Is it out yet? It's not good. Get it out. <laughs> I have so much I'm keeping right now. So I need to get everything out, basically. That Three comes bam. Back. Another uh, oh, there's a three bam, not another four bam, but a three bam. And of course, you know, I'm not going to change to anything else at this point and call that three bam. It would be silly when I have a hand that has now miraculously formed. Not really miraculously, because that's the way Mahjong is. Uh, I'm just going to ignore it. Five crack. Call. The five three crack. crack. Remember the five crack? Yeah. It It didn't get discarded yet. It came in. It went out. And somebody decided to keep it and utilize it. So good reason to uh, make sure you get that out. Ignore. Six crack. Call. One dot. All right. So we've got a five and a six. Two numbers in a row. So we could have five, six, seven, eight in one or two suits. Same hand that I'm playing. Second from the bottom. And is there anything else that this West could be playing? I don't think so. I think that is uh, what it is. Okay, so now we have a one dot. I'm going to call it because I can. And it is early with 73 tiles. We're not into the set, the middle game yet. But again, my whole everything is so nicely formed. Why would I not do this at this point? So I'm going to go ahead and call it. If my hand was a mess, and I was still waiting on so much, I would wait. But not in this case. I'm going to call it for a pun. Call. North. North out. One bam. Three dots. And now, as you could see, I'm left with two, three bams. Again, this is something that ha does come. And if you understand how it all works, it's incredible. I'm going to call that, by the way. Uh, but, you know, there's a three bam out, and I have two. So I am left with two tiles that, 
you know, I'm I'm happy if the game starts going, gets further on, and I haven't picked any other of my tiles. I've got fairly safe tiles. And if somebody needs a three bam, I get to do a little joker bait by swapping out the other one. So we're going to call the three dot. Yes, everybody's going to know. My bot friends are going to know what I'm doing, but oh well. Call three bam. So the perfect thing would be somebody called that three dot and put up a joker, <laughs> but we know it didn't, wasn't happening. Seven bam. Eight dot. Okay, so five, six, seven, eight. It's probably, there's three eights out. So he's probably playing with seven racks because, and there's two seven BMs out. Uh, so that's my gut feeling. He's playing same suit, five, six, seven, eight. Seven dot north. Nine dot four BAM. Yeah, another famous four BAM. Okay, so I don't think Wes is playing with this either, like I said, but we'll see. Eight bam, four bam. Ah. Two crack. South. Okay, I have not seen an East or a West. Agata, are you calling this baby? Let's see. East, call, nine yep. dot. Boy, this game is predictable. Again, you, if you're newer... Don't think like, how does she know that? Like, how am I ever going to get there? You will get there. Trust me. When you don't have to think so much about what you're doing with your tiles, it opens up your mind to see a ton of other possibilities. A flower. Now I get a flower. Well, I don't need it. So we're going to get it out right now. Flower. East. Even though there are some that went out, remember a lot of hands require a pair, but guess what? We don't have to worry about it because, well, we would have to, there is a hand that Joe could be playing, but I don't think with three out now, well, four, uh, four, that's four now. One bam, two bam. Aha. Uh -huh. Look at how pretty that is. Three bam. So I can now Mahjong on a Joker exchange from my rack or Wes's. If somebody throws a two dot or a four dot, or if I pick a two dot, four dot or Joker. So I love it when there's a lot of ways because you almost think, how could I not win? But it still happens. <laughs> All right. Joker swap five bam. Who took that joker? I didn't, It flashed and I looked away. I was looking at YouTube. Two bam. Oh, seven crack. This is a very... Okay, so let's talk about this, right? If Wes is playing five, six, seven, eight, he needs that seven crack. We are at 50 tiles. So we're just into the middle game right now. I doubt if he's playing five, six, seven, eight, same suit. Oh, what is he? Why is somebody? Oh, because of the eight that Joe has. Maybe he has some jokers and he was doing that. What else could he be playing? Because the seven BMs are out and eight, some eight, BM, one eight BM. Uh, well, all right. Look, turn off your audio. Sorry. When we, my husband and I are having audio together, it causes a whole lot of noise in my head. I don't think you guys can hear it, though. Can you hear it? I don't know. If anybody can hear it, put it in chat if you can hear his audio feedback. Uh, well, anyway, the point is that regardless of whether he needs it or not, I have a couple of choices. I could either break my whole hand up right now and throw my jokers and my other safe tiles, or... I go for it because I ask myself this question and the question is, do I want to win? Yes, I want to win. The next question is, can I win? Yes, with 50 tiles left, I have a good shot. So if I give Wes Mahjong, well, so be it. So that's it. Hey, Jingles, thanks for joining tonight. I haven't seen you in a while. All right, so here we go. Seven crawl, West. Oh, well, look at that. So I'm just trying to, what is, what else could West be doing that I'm missing? Am I missing something? 
I don't think so. So I just, I think they're playing each other's tiles. Well, now we have a second line in consecutive run. For five and six. Oh, yes, 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 yes. You're absolutely right. All right. So the second line in consecutive run. So that would be four, five. And then it would be probably it's got to be greens or soaps. <laughs> There's two soaps and two greens out. And then um, so it would be four, five, six, seven crack. Well, let's see. There's two seven cracks up there. Oh, he only needs trouble. a pair. I know, but he, he I know you're right. OK, call one crack. Okay, so now we have east-west. He's doing that third line down more than likely uh, because some north and south went out, so the chances of it being line one are probably slimmer. Uh, eh, you never know, but we'll see what happens. Um, five, nope, I don't think I have to worry about that. Did any five dots go out? One went out earlier. And I, I mean, I could, could be Agatha's, but nonetheless, back to the same situation. Five North. I want to win. Seven dot. One crack. Oh. Uh, what about, wait a minute. What about line five consecutive run? Line five. Oh my goodness. Three, four, five, six with the reds. Uh, did you guys? Oh, Phyllis, sorry. Phyllis said that. Phyllis texted that at, oh, right now she said it. <laughs> oh, my God. That is so crazy. Um, great minds think alike, Phyllis. Yes. Line five. Five crack, six crack. Pair, pair. And then the pung pung. So let's see if there are any. Uh, One, three crack out. One, three, crack out, and here's a four crack. And two four cracks. All right. Well, guess what? I'm going for it. You don't break your hand up at this point, but Wes may call it. Red, five, bam. He didn't. Two crack. Probably because he couldn't. <laughs> three, bam. Okay, one crack. One crack, five crack. Six bam, five bam. And there we go. Oh, before I do this, by the way, um, when I don't know who it was through a five crack out. I'm not sure. I wish if you know who threw it, I'd love to look and see how close they were to Mahjong. Because for me, if I saw somebody had five cracks up and I picked it, I would hold that tile and discard something else because that to me would be like a safer tile to hold, but I don't Mahjong. So let's see if we can figure that out. So three, four, five, six with the reds and he couldn't call it. So that's kind of my point about getting tiles out. If I was afraid to throw it and I threw, let's just say I wasn't that close to Mahjong, but if I had other tiles to discard and I said, oh no, I can't throw it. Wes could be playing it. He needs it. Then you wait for another two or three turns. In the meantime, you've picked another tile or two into your hand. Now you've taken a tile that potentially wasn't hot and turned it into a hot tile that he could definitely use. So fresh tiles can turn into hot tiles if you don't get them out early. Oh, I hope that makes sense. It does to me. But well, let's see what Joe is doing. Six, seven, eight, nine. And uh, it's, let's see, sixes. They were playing both playing the sixes. And consecutive run line five, three, four, five, six, which we knew. And east, west with, 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 with nines. <laughs> but there was nothing much else going on with Agatha was struggling there. Oh, boy. All right, let's start again. First Charleston. Well, I don't have my jokers this time. Makes it a little harder, but better learning experience for you guys. So let's see what we're going to do here. Uh, when I don't have any duplicates at all, 
sometimes I'll just put my hand in evens and odds just to see how it looks. Maybe possibly, you know, a singles and pairs hand might be a consideration if I see anything that looks really worth going for, which right now, I mean, two, four, six, eight could be one, three, five, five, seven, nine, singles and pairs, line two, or like I said, two, four, six, eight, line one could be a possibility. Uh, nothing is like really saying to me, yeah, go for it. It's really, really great. So, oh, I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the West. And, you know, I've got evens. I could potentially, if I get some soaps, maybe do 20, 24. Uh, and then what I want to do around this here is to keep some, potentially, I think the best thing would be consecutive run because of the fact that it's so flexible. So maybe I'll keep, you know, my two, three, four, five, sixes as well and go with that, that run between the two. I'm keeping the eight because of two, four, six, eight, but the two to two to five range there and maybe even the one to keep that. And maybe what I can do, hmm, I mean, this is a pretty pass, but like we said before, there could be a ton of pretty passes. I kind of like to keep everything right there for now. So let's see what happens. Now, I also do have some three, six, nine, which I like. Oh, let me reconsider this for a second. Three, six, nine. Which I kind of like even better than two, four, six, eight. Let's see, two, four, six, eight. Oh, whichever way I go is gonna do something's gonna happen to change something. But I think, I let's try it. Oh, now I have a four. Mm. Two, four, six. Mm. Well, I have a lot of two, three, fours, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and collect a lot of two, three, fours and one, two, three, four. We've got little bits of stuff. Uh, I think whichever way we end up going, you know, it's all who knows, but we'll see what happens here. All right, so I got another one. So I have my first multiple. Not a lot, but I got a little bit, so. Let's just keep going here. Again, I'm collecting in the one, two, three, four range, multiple suits. And I am not going to worry about the fact that they're not all matching suits, which a lot of newer players do. This is a first left. So I do want to maximize what I get in. So I think I'll do the six. All right, I got a three. So now I have a hand that has formed just because I know the card, but it doesn't mean I'm picking it. Okay. I'm not picking the hand. I just know the card to know that I've got one, two, three, four, same hand we were playing before second from the bottom, but in two suits. And of course I am going to absolutely continue. Second Charleston. If somebody's collecting wins, they're going to do pretty good. We don't know if they are. Uh, what else? Let's see. One, two, Three, four, five. Do I need to keep the green? Maybe I do. So I think because I because of that second hand that I like as well. The one that the this guy West was playing. So we'll do this. Okay, nothing. But again, there's a lot of winds going around. I'm aware. Of that. I got another four. So now, again, just by collecting those runs, you know, I was able to uh, build this hand. All right. Let's see what else. One, two, three, four. Um, one, two, three. Two, three, four, four. Mm, just trying to think about other things that might happen here. And I don't think, you know, I mean... If this forms, it forms. I don't know. We'll see what happens. 
Uh, I'm not going to send the green out because it's been in my hand. And I don't want to send out a fresh tile, a brand new tile at the end. So I'll just do this. And also, maybe I'll need it. Who knows? Courtesy pass. <laughs> Amazing. I've got one, two, three, four with the BAMs too. But, and then I have some like numbers with the fours as well. Oh, my, my, my. Let's see. One, two, two, three, four. I don't know that I need that. Um, did I have that in my hand the whole time? Or did I get it in? Because I'd like to be able to try and get a tile in. Anybody remember? Um, oh, Gloria, I'm so sorry, Jingles, to hear about that you didn't have any heat or air. Eey, yuck, yuck, yuck. Uh, was that due to a storm or something else? Anyway, sorry to hear that. I hate to hear anybody having being uncomfortable. And I know a lot of people didn't have electricity for a good while. Okay, so as, does anybody remember? Because I usually am good about that, but I am not remembering. I the two, I feel like I had it for a long time, but I don't think I started with it. I wish there was a button I could press. What were my starting tiles? Ooh, I'll take a, I'll take a little risk here and I'll do two. And we'll see what happens. I'm going to keep that green again. Five bam. Mm, interesting. Got that five back. All right, well, we've got a lot of options here because what's the name of this game? Yeah, Mahjong, but flexibility is its second name. So we need to stay Flower. open and flexible. Six dots. We have lots of choices if you want to become a really good player. Now, one, two, three, four is so nice. Gee, I really wish there was some really great singles and pairs hand. There is that one. Third hand down with the ones and twos, but I just got rid of a two crack. So that's not even a possibility, right? Well, it is. There's nothing that's not possible. Eight dot. So. So. South. I'm surprised my husband did me. He loves that. All right. Well, I'll definitely keep that for a little while. I, I just don't know what I'm going to be playing. So I do have flower three, four, five. And I do have one, two. In two suits, three, four. So that's nice right there. And if I possibly, oh, shoot, I got rid of that two crack and I could have done two, three, four, five with the green in the middle. Oh, so many options. And I miss, yeah, I know. I know, but that's okay. So do I need the four dot? I don't think unless I'm doing like numbers. Oh, I got like numbers though. And like numbers would probably be end up being line one if I got a lot in. But what about the three first? One, two, three, four. I think so. Um yeah. Three bam. Four bam. Oh, there's a four, and I'm not calling it for like numbers. It's way too early, and I don't even have any jokers. South. So One crack. Four bands out. I keep track of that stuff just so I could know what chances of, you know. Five bam. Have with a certain four dot. Uh, there's a four dot. So West. any like numbers is. Eight crack. Moving its placement down. Call. Over. Two crack. All right, we have an eight crack joker potential. There's that two crack that I gave up. Uh, Nine crack. Whatever. And a red. Maybe the red is a little bit more important, but then I won't have any potential with the flowers for that fifth hand down under any like numbers. No flowers there. Many times I've wanted there to be a flower there, but. I don't think I'm keeping it. Red, Joker swap, eight bam. Nice, nice, Wes. Three crack. Okay, so there's a three, which I'd love to grab if I were doing one, two, three, four, or flowers, three, four, and five, and cracks. But I don't have any Jokers, so you know what that means. East. Can't do anything. Call, six bam. 
Now we have a pop eight bam two crack two crack. Now you see, I'm just getting tiles out. I look at the board. I don't see any out. They go out. I don't think about nine bam flower. I'm not holding anything up at this point. Four crack. There's a four crack that I would like, and I can't take it. North. And a one bam, which is uh, definitely not on the table. One Going. bam, eight bam, five bam, three bam. South, nine dot, nine dot, five bam. Boy. Uh, all right. So now I know that if uh, I'm going to make one, two, three, four, or flowers, three, four, five, I need a joker to cover that for the Kong for either hand. It's the way it is. I have got to have hope that I will get in a something. Four dot. A joker. One bam. Green. One green. Two bam. Call. Three bam. Ooh. Two crack. So he's playing one crack or one dot, two bam. One crack, one, one cracks out. Or two bam, three crack, two bam, three dot. So let's see. Three cracks, one is out. I've got the rest, so it's probably three dots if he's playing that direction. Five crack. Oh, there's a five crack. And I got a joker. So I'm going to stick it here because I know I need it there. Otherwise, I don't put my jokers where they go. And I do see a lot of, you know, when I, I run a club on Mondays, which is just an open Mahjong club for beginners through intermediate. I also teach there, too. But a lot of players that learn somewhere else come in. And I see them immediately putting jokers in places. And I urge you not to do it. Because what you don't want to do is have something go out that you can call that you don't need a joker with, and you've already committed to that joker somewhere. So you've got to be careful about that. All right, let's get this out. Four bam, three bam, mm. eight bam, six dot. Okay. Red, five crack. Another five crack. Two crack. I definitely am that same suit thing is not we're going to have to get those flowers out soon. And I hope that somebody calls it and puts up a joker to, so I can get a little joker bait north. Looks like I'm going to have to do one, two, three, four instead of three, four, five, since two, five cracks have gone out. So that means I would need two jokers to fill that spot. Seven bam mahjong. Oh, I was just getting ready to move these down. Now I'd love to know what Agatha needed because that's why I get those flowers out no later than and I think I was just I think I should have gotten them out even a little earlier, but he probably had his well, I don't know. I don't know if he had his flowers, but five, six, seven, mix suit run, consecutive run line three for Agatha and for Joe six seven eight nine not forming very well and he was doing the three dots so the two three but again pretty far away for anything there and I was pretty far away so good job Agatha let's see how many tiles were left here uh two three jokers left in the wall Two more flowers left. There's a two dot. You know, if that, the two two dots that are coming up there, if those went out, I wouldn't have been able to call them unless I did a joker swap from somebody's rack because I only have the one joker and I need to keep, I would need to cover it here. So interesting though. Look at that. Three jokers. All righty. Let's do it again. Well, well, here we go. First Charleston. I have a joker. Yay. All right. So again, if I start from, move these for a minute here, start from my pair, 
Let's work off of the pair. Again, I'm familiar enough with the card to know it's not 2024. Yes, it could be potentially 2468, but I'm not seeing a whole, whole lot of that. That makes me feel all bubbly right now. So like numbers with sixes, certainly a potential. Um, again, maybe singles and pairs. I don't know. Let's see what else we could do here. Uh, since I've got the three there, I'll put the three, six, nine together. Well, I do have a joker. So singles and pairs is probably not going to be an option. Although I have played them and discarded the joker later on. Uh, anything with a run that I would want to keep. So three, six, nine. But if I want to keep three, four, maybe five or two, three, four or four, five, six would be nice. I kind of want to play around with these wins again and see if I could do something with that. So if I do, it'd have to be with a six, seven or a five, six for the run. And I know it's not a lot, but honestly, I've got a part of every bit of that hand. So it's considered a hand that doesn't have any gaps in it right now, except for I'm missing tiles in the groupings. So if I want to keep 369 open, got to get rid of this, 369, and like numbers with sevens, five, six, or six, sevens, I have to give something up. Um, and it would be the three that I would give up. And, okay, so I'll try to talk through this to to explain why the three would be what my choice would be. And look at that, two, three, four. I mean, it's a beautiful pass. Every pass can be beautiful. The reason I'm not, I'm, I'm choosing this one is I think in terms of, you know, what do I have already in a grouping like three, six, and then potentially six crack, nine crack, or three, six BM and six crack, I mean, six dot, nine dot, and I think to myself, well, do I need the three? It could be a, a mixed suit 369. But when I don't have that other tile right now, that's why I'm picking it. But pretty pass. I mean, all of them could be pretty. I got a north, so that's nice. So I could uh, get rid of the eight. And... Let's see. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. Five, six, seven. I like that five, six, or six, seven that I have the flexibility there. So I gotta get rid of something. If I wanna really do a Badine pass, that could be a better pass than any right there, so. Okay. Um, I'm going to do this, this, and I don't see any reason to keep this. Uh, no, I, mean, I would want to get one more five or seven, and they're not coming in. So I'm just going to continue here. Of Charleston stop, courtesy pass. Oh, Wes stopped the Charleston. Oh. <gasps> That was Wes who stopped it. If Joe stopped it, I would not pass, okay? Um, and I do want to just take a minute. Um, there's a, a comment on YouTube that explanations are too, my explanations are too long. But I have to remind everybody, this is a instructional evening called Skill Building. And therefore, I have to really be aware that there might be newer players here and they're needing my direction. So that's why I talk through this stuff. Uh, I think there are other more advanced uh, groups that play out there uh, or, or some um, live streams possibly. But if you're, you know, if this is not right for you, I understand it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do, oh, look at this. I could keep the five as well. It gives me another opportunity for another way. So I'll do two because I've had that nine there for a long time. 
and I don't want to get it out. So I'll do two. Two dot. Unbelievable. I couldn't get one more double. So let's hope I get some lots of jokers. Soap. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. So things will change a little bit here because <clears throat> um, I may keep an eye on six, seven this way or six, seven this way. Uh, right here. If I want to keep five and five. All right. So I still don't have to make a decision about anything. Um, there are some other hands that I can think of right now, but I'm not going to even go through them and get you all confused. But I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the green. Green. Seven dot. Four bam. Eight dot. Oh, it's amazing how things do change in this game, right? So obviously the six crack becomes a definite priority here. And did I give away five cracks or eight cracks? I'm also thinking about that third hand from the bottom, wins and dragons. I don't know. Uh, but in any event, I don't have to make any rash decisions, but... Five crack, six crack for that run under Winds and Dragons, line number three on the left side, or six, seven. Right now, the nine's going to go. Nine dot north. Okay, so there's a north. You know, I can call it. And I don't have to put up a joker. In this particular case, it is earlier than I would normally call. So I do want to talk through this a little bit. But because I don't have to put up a joker, I should grab it. And because I have the six cracks, I have a lot of other flexibility there that I could do. If I don't grab it, the north could be at the like at the end of the wall. And so I think in this particular case, I'm going to go for it and try it and see what happens. Uh, and if they know what I'm playing, they're going to dump South right away, but that's okay. So I think, um, oh, Janet said, okay, Janet, that could very well be. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Okay, so I'm going to call it for a pung. Again, this is earlier than I normally commit, but I don't need to put up a joker. So I am going to do it and take it now. I'm committing to that north and south hand. Oh. All right, so I am going to start with the six and hold the sevens a little bit. I like to hold it for joker bait if possible but we'll see what happens. So meanwhile, I have still some good options on either end here. Six Let's see bam, what happens here. Nine bam, two bam, call south. We've got a pung exposure. I can't call it, see what happened, but hopefully. All right, so now I have six, seven. I'll still hold those pairs because they're a little safer to keep as a pair right now than breaking them up at this point. And I'll get rid of the fives, which are probably a more priority to get out and they're not out yet. So now here's my hand and I could call the six or the seven. I need one good pick to call the South as well. I mean, this could go either place and it'll just depend on what goes out as to which one I have to call. Five dot. Seven dot. Five crack. Four dot. Yeah, nice. All right. So this is where it goes right there. I could call the south, the six crack, or the seven bam. Five bam. Five crack. Eight dot. Six dot. Remember, I passed that. Red. One dot. I think it was this game. I may be getting confused. Four crack. Call. <laughs> five dot. All right. So we've got uh, twos and fours. So 
two, three, bam, four, five, crack. There's no two, four, six, eight. There is a 20, 24 hand, line one. It could be, or two, three, four, five, or one, two, bam, three, four, crack. So it could be a lot of things there. Uh, not enough tiles out to really tell what, to make a guess. One crack, six crack. Okay, so I'm going to call that for a Kong. Call. And now I'll break up my pair. Seven crack, east. I wish somebody called it and put up a joker, but they didn't. Nine dot, five crack. Okay. Three dot call. Nine crack. Three dot here. Nine bam. Red. Okay. So again, I'm not worried about what I'm getting out right now. We're 70 tiles. So we're still in the begin game. Six dot. One crack. Nine crack. Red. Nine bam. Two dot. One crack. Eight dot. All right. Seven crack. Uh, Maja, Nine crack. Joker exchange if there's not a four crack out. <clears throat> if I pick a joker or a seven BM or if someone throws it. So I've got like four which ways to do it. Five dot. Okay. Jingles, I get you. I misunderstood, but I just wanted to make sure um, that. I just mentioned what I said, but thank you so much for explaining that, what you meant about the um, uh, explanation. Cool. Ignore. West. Green. Um, one out early on, but so. Green. Doesn't matter. I want Nine crack. I'm not going to hold Eight anything bam. up. Nine dot. Okay. Two crack. <clears throat> so I do always look around for joker exchanges. Don't forget to do that. Oh my God. Somebody at the club on Monday missed it twice. She just wanted to shoot herself. <laughs> Eight bam. One bam. Four bam. Six bam. Call. Five bam. Mm. Three crack. Call one bam. Boy, we got some things heating up here. So threes could be like numbers, line two. It could be, can't be that sixth hand down under consecutive run because it's starting with threes there. I mean, it would have to start, be, yeah, it would have to be fours to do that. Let's see what else could it be. I think, oh, it could be second line under 369. It could also be the fourth line under 369. If I miss Seven that, dot. you know. Joker swap, four dot. So this is when... Green, if Joker swap, Ma Jong. Oh, I was just going to say, you want to like... Oh, frustrating when you're on when you're set like this on call for mahjong. It's frustrating, but that's what happened. So it was like numbers was the one of the hands we thought. Oh, uh, let's see. Twenty twenty four was what Agatha was playing line one, and she was coming in pretty nice. And then Joe was playing. Six times eight equals 48. Very nice. All right, cool. Let's go. Let's start again. Uh, any more questions? No. Okay. First Charleston. One joker. Woohoo. Pretty cool. Okay, so let's start with our sixes. By the way, I never pass flowers in the Charleston, and I don't get rid of them because I have no idea if I'm going to need them. So why would I ever get rid of them early on or pass them? I mean, unless somebody has like an unbelievable hand that came in in the beginning, I don't see a reason to even be thinking about passing. But I do have two pairs, sixes and nines in two different suits. So that's three, six, nine right there in my brain. 
Um, it could be six, seven, bam, eight, nine, dot. Another option there. So I have lots of things that I could get rid of here. And what else could we keep? Hmm. Potentially, if I were to get other nines and I got a seven, I could possibly do that six ten down under consecutive run flowers, six, seven, eight single tiles with nines. You know, I'm going to try to figure out every little thing that I can. Um, but there's not a whole lot of other goody goody stuff here that I can see. I can hold this for a while. I can mix it up right now. And you now, do I want to keep the East and South for any reason? Probably not. I'll break it up. Let's see. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Nah. Nothing coming in. I, you know, when this happens, I just kind of go, just go with it. I want to keep the seven for any reason. Five, seven, seven. Nah. All right. I got another nine. I got a three. That's a good thing because. If I get sixes, I've got that line two under three, six, nine, plus other stuff. Not just that. <clears throat> Trust me, I am not just keeping track of one thing. And continue. Second Charleston. All right, I got a nine. So <laughs> because, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm keeping three, six, nine, I'm going to keep it all. Because if I did get the seven, we talked about flowers, six, seven, eight, BM, nine, nine, crack, that run. And I could still keep the track of that if I don't forget it. Wait a minute. Hold on. I need this. I, I would need that. Hold on. Six, seven. No, I don't. I need the six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Okay. To make sure I don't give the wrong thing. Okay, so now I got a nine and a six. So six, lots of options here for three, six, nine. So many. Uh, I don't think I'm going to keep track of that six, seven, eight thing at all. So. I've got so I've got some really great three six nine stuff going on here. Even like numbers could happen with nines. So it's just gonna have to depend on what I get. Courtesy pass. Okay, two. Nine bam. I love having lots of options. Of course I'd like that in my hand, but I'm not taking it. At this point, my hand's not well formed or anything like that. Um, when I prior to, <coughs> excuse me, you guys, when I prioritize my discards, I'll get rid of stuff I got in at the um, end of the Charleston before my picks. There's a couple of reasons. I mean, the most important, I think, to me is that uh, did somebody end up having to give up a tile that they wanted to keep? And then the person had it, you know, who they gave it to ended up giving it to me. I don't know. But. I think there is probably a chance. So I do Four crack. prioritize nine bam out first. Another nine bam. Flower. Four crack. You know, it just helps make my decisions as far Seven as. Seven crack. As, Green. When these tiles go out, as far as what I need to go in what direction. So. One crack. West. So um, I do have a pair of twos. They don't go, they go with two, four, six, eight, but not with my three, six, nine. One bam. But there's still One crack. a possible joker bait situation. So we'll see. Six dot. There's a six dot I'd like in my hand. One dot. But I'll take the flower. And now since I want to keep all my three, six, nines, I will break up my two. Two crack. Eight crack. 
seven dot eight dot um I didn't keep anything with these, so I'm not gonna keep it now. Green four crack five dot north call four dot. Oh, he's playing the probably the I mean it could be line one on the right side, but the mini run is pretty south. popular this year. He couldn't call the south. Oh wow. So I did get another three, so I'll get the two, two crack. Up. So five crack. Still just collecting. I'm not freaking out about what I'm playing yet. But if I pick in another tile, you better believe I gotta break it down, right? Um, I do have flower three six nine mixed suit thing. I've got a few other things, but four crack. Let's see what I get. Seven in. bam. I got a six in. Okay, I gotta break it down right now. Whew. All right, let's work it out. Uh, I'll start from the top. So three, six, six, nine. Right there, right hand side, top line, three, six, nine. Three, crack, six, crack. And then the last two are different suits. It's a little different this year. They're not usually like that. But I have a better shot with that because I don't have it with the same suit except for with the nine, but that takes away my big strength, which is having a pung of nine. No flowers. I'm talking about the first hand, babe. Oh yeah, there's no flowers in it, of course. That's right. Okay, so that's line one. Um, line two is a possibility. With sixes, sometimes these don't move. Oh, come on. Um, line two with sixes. So I would need six dots. I already have my flowers. And I have, if I got one six dot in for the pair, I would feel very, very good about line two under three, six, nine. What, Randy? Go the other way. Three, six, nine and cracks. Oh, right. Okay. Hold on. Wait a minute. But that does away with, well, hold on. Let me look. If I go, Randy says go this way. Um, and then like this. Yeah, because you already have your a lot of your nines. Oh, that's beautiful, actually. Okay, so... Three, six, nine this way, because the other way I would need to worry about the uh, pair of sixes. So this is actually really, really nice right here. Thank you, honey. And then the other one I was talking about is line one, which I would need the six BMs and the threes and sixes. So it's a lot to think about, but I need to keep the three and six for line one on the right side, the six bam and the nine dot, that, and I need to keep the nine bam. So the tile that I don't need, although I could need it, I could come up with more stuff, but these are this is the best stuff right now that I can see, is the three to get rid of. So there we go. Three dot, three crack. Uh, I don't need that for that hand because I've got pretty much, I think that's the hand that's going to come in, obviously, because I could call the nine bam or the nine crack, and then I need one more good pick. Four dot. Seven crack. One bam. So now it's just Five pick dot. and discard unless I get Three a tile in that I need. Red. Call. Seven crack. Joker exchange. Keep my eye out for that. West, Joker swap, East, no. eight bam, seven okay. dot, West, flower, two bam, call, soap. All right, Joker exchange, call, seven dot. All right, we've got uh, 
This could be any like numbers, or it could be the Winds and Dragons line two. Line two of any like numbers or Winds and Dragons line two um, are the two hands. Joker swap, East. Seven bam. Nobody's letting me grab a joker. Not nice. Two dot call, East. Ah, so we've got North South with one twos or two threes. Hopefully, well, it's probably not one cracks because there's six cracks. Um, so I don't need that because that's a pair in that position. One dot. One dot. Seven dot. One crack. Mahjong. Oh, that was way, way, way too fast. Way too fast. Oh, my goodness. We've got how many tiles left? 51 tiles just into the middle game. Literally. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, let me just see where my tiles were. There's a nine. A nine. A joker. Another joker. Okay, they're there. All right, well, uh, like numbers with eights. Second hand for Wes under any like numbers. And uh, Joe was doing the north-south with two, three, two dot three, bam. And then two, three, four, five, our famous pun, pun, kong, kong. Second hand from the bottom, any like numbers on the right, on the left side. All right, let's start again. First, Charleston. Oh, look at all my jokers. Woohoo. Okay, well, have no fret. You guys know I always move my winds and dragons down initially. So I do have three dots. So do I have any other three dots here? I don't. It's definitely not 2468 or 2024. It doesn't look like like numbers at the very moment. What about consecutive numbers? Well, one, two, three, four would be what I'd be keeping. If I'm keeping consecutives, it's going to be one, two, three, four of everything. Everything that I have. Uh, what else could I keep with those three dots? Um, let's look and see about uh, the singles and pairs third line down. I just need to keep all my ones and twos and threes. if I want to keep track of that. I do keep track of, I mean, why not try it? If you can, if something comes in, because you could always switch out. There are like little baby bits of the bigger sections, every one of them. So if you look, they're all part of something. Line one is uh, can be switched into two, four, six, eight. Line two could be switched into one, three, five, seven, nine. Line three, consecutive run. Line four, three, six, nine section. Line uh Five also run section and line six, the 2024 section. So please don't discount your potential there. Uh, do I want to keep this for a little bit and see what happens? Sometimes I like to try that. Uh, everything I do here is going to be pretty. So... Right now, I'm just going to kind of keep my run stuff going on. Uh, three, four, five. Let's see what else I can get rid of this. What about one, three, three, five? Maybe one, three, three, five. I don't want to get rid of this. Ah, I think I'm going to give up on the wind right now. Oh, I get a Weston. Would you know it? Would you know it? Oh, so one, two, one, two. I said I was going to keep all of those one, two, threes. So let's do this and one, two, three, four. Maybe this one. Continuing, of course. Second Charleston. All right. Not anything pretty, but I've got run stuff going on. So just have to see what happens here. Okay, so for that <clears throat> singles and pairs hand that I'm trying to keep track of, I need all of this right here. Well, actually, I don't need that. I need all of this right here. And 
I would like to, of course, well, hold on now. I've got a two fives because now I don't want to give that up. So I do have a potential run here with the three, four, five, or one through five. I definitely want to keep that. So my best option is here. Oh, I have so much of that singles and pairs here. Mm. Oh, my God. Let me put it in order of how it might look good right now. So, too bad, though, the this position for this hand, the first one doesn't need two, two BMs. But I have potential to make that line three. And I don't want to give up this run here quite yet. I do have a lot of good stuff. Two, three, four, five, one through five. I mean, I've got so many good things. I could do one here. One, two, three, four, four. I could do this one and do a blind pass. That's what's nice about that. Courtesy pass. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh, my God. Um, I'm not going to do anything. You're missing a lot of ones. I'm missing a lot of ones. Well, I have one, two, three ones. I have three ones, babe. So I'm missing. But you a need a pair, pair. in each for this. Oh, single I know. Pairing. I know. Well, I look at my other options. I have one, two, three, four. I have three, four, five. I mean, I have backups, right? So. I'm just going to say no. No tiles. Oh, I have to discard. So we said uh, two, three, four, five. So I still I have two, three, four, five is probably the better side of the two suit run right there. Uh, what else am I? One, two, three, four, four, one through five. I think it's the two uh, that would be the least needed here. So I'm going to do the two. Two bam, flower, flower, one bam. There's one, one bam. Eight bam, four crack. At least I know what I got to get rid of. Red. <laughs> or what? Five bam. Seven bam, five dot. Oh man. Oh man. If I were to commit to that right now, and it could also be one, one, three. Uh, it can't be one, three, three, five, uh, without soaps. Um, the five is in a Kong position in line one, one through five. It's also in the Kong position in the two suit, two, three, four, five. So it's another situation where I have four that I can call without a joker and I can use it in a few places. I mean, even one crack, three crack, three dot, and four, uh, five dot is a potential. And all of them are in Kong position. So I have to make sure that I keep the right thing. So two, three, four, five. I need all of that right there. Okay. For one, three, uh, three, five, I need the one crack. I need the ones and threes for one through five if I get twos. And so my choice, I think, is going to be to call this and then start dumping these. 
because my husband did say, you know, I need three pairs in that one position. I mean, I need a lot of pairs in the that singles and pairs hand. But my options now, I think I'm going to call it. This is another example of, of, of an early call that I don't normally do. So I'm going to call it because I can use that hong of fives in several hands. Call. Two bam. Three crack. Oh, I would love that. Seven crack. Flower. But I got one. One bam. West. So now one, three, three, five. Or two, three, four, five. The one, three, three, five is better. And I'll show you why. Let me let me get my tile in first and ignore this. Seven crack. Four bam. Call. Two dot. All right, we have a pung. Six so crack. Those are two that I need, which is a pair in that one through five. <clears throat> oh, geez. Do you believe this? Okay. So let's look at the um, one, three, three, five. I can call the three, but I need a joker or a three dot, and I need one more tile to be able to call this. So I need one more good pick to cover to call the uh, three dot and the one crack. Now I just got in the two crack. So now I've got also two, three. I could call those both. The four is a Kong. I'm weak there. I need. I need two good picks there to call it. But the one through five, line one, because the two dot is a pair, I'm not going to go for that one. I have to pick, whoops, hold on, screwed up there. Um, I'm not going to keep that. So that would be my discard right now. So two, three, I could call the three crack. Four is weak. And we'll see what happens with all of this and the one is what can go with me now keeping track of two hands in two sections consecutive run and one three five seven nine one dot five bam nine bam west okay all right so now <laughs> This is the hand that we got to play because I can call the one crack and the three crack and I need one good pick to call the three dot. So I here's a situation. I'm going to discard the four dot. I'm left with a pung of twos that I don't, I'm not going to use. So I'm okay with that because they're really great safe tiles as the game moves on. And if somebody does need them and call them, hopefully they're going to put up a joker since I've got three of them. So this is what we're doing. Four dot. Six bam. Nine dot. West. I just need a joker or a three dot. Six dot. Two bam. East. Six crack. Wrong tile. <laughs> Um, but I'll get it out. Three bam call nine dot. That's a good reason to get it out early. Four dot. The two two dot that I would have needed. Two dot nine crack. Well, he's playing three four maybe five six in one or two suits. Um, three four five six. Right, three, four, five, six in one or two suits. Uh, is there anything else? Three, four, yep. Two, three, opposite dragon, four, and five. I forget that hand, so. Call, two dot. Now we have a joker exchange there, another two dot. Uh, maybe Joe needs this, we'll see. But no matter what, I need to get it out. Maybe Agatha needs it. Six bam, two bam, eight bam, eight crack, seven bam, one dot, red, 
two dot. Okay, now I'll start breaking up my pungs. Two crack, one bam. What would be really nice is if I picked a three dot and I could be jokerless. Ooh, ooh, maybe. <laughs> eight dot, call six dot. All right, so he's got eights and nines. So it looks like flower seven eight nine mix suit run for Agatha. Ooh, oh, or north and south eight nine. Hello, South Mahjong. Okay, so I gave uh, Agatha Mahjong, but with as many tiles as were left, which was, uh, where are we right here? 54 tiles were just into the middle game. You would definitely not hold that tile up at all. I am telling you, don't do it, even if you think, you know, I knew that when I finally figured out, oh, yeah, eight, nine could also be north and south when I picked the south. But if I were to hold it, it could have been her call. And if I held it any longer, it would be more guaranteed to be a Mahjong. And I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. But that's nice. Three, four, five, six, two suit run for Joe. Consecutive run line seven. And any like numbers, line two for Wes with um, sevens. And he was eh, struggling a bit. I had the second, the second closest hand, <laughs> but I didn't march on. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's do it again. One more. We'll play one more game. First Charleston. Oh, wow. We've got a lot of nice uh, runs here. Again, no jokers. I mean, a lot of nice runs. I meant to say a lot of nice um, pairs, pair of flowers, sevens and nines. So we could have potential here for some good stuff in five, seven, nine or seven, eight, nine. And let's see what we would want to keep here. What about uh I don't know. I could keep the sevens and nines as well. Six, seven, eight, nine. Mm, yeah, we could just do this for now. Let's see what, or do I want to? No, I think I'll do this. Let's see what happens. I need this for any reason. Five, seven, seven, nine. Mm. No, I don't think I need it. Any reason to keep this baby for a while? Maybe so. Maybe I'll do that. Oh, wow. Look at this going on. Oof. Um, well, singles and pairs again, nine, nine, eight, eight, seven, seven, but they don't use flowers. And I would end up having to pass those flowers. Probably. And too but, many eights missing. Oh, I know. Well, there's a, you're always going to have tiles missing, babe. <laughs> I mean, that's the whole point. I'm not going to have them all right now, right? Uh, but it's just, you know, so nice. I mean, I, I love it. But it is risky. There's no doubt about it. Um, so if I want to be safer and I don't want to do that, maybe keep these for any like numbers but then again i have flowers so i don't know that i would want to even choose those uh but three six nine line four is also a possibility seven eight nine seven eight nine and i even have line four seven eight nine is a possibility so my feeling is that these dragons are not going to be as valuable as everything else right now. And I can do a blind pass. Two, two dragons is a pretty pass. But what if I get 
fives. And I could do five, seven, nine with dragons. The fives, is a, that's a pair that I need, but I like that. So maybe I do this. I won't, I won't do that. That really is a pretty pass because I don't have to do it. But maybe I'll do this and keep an eye on that, like numbers. Um, maybe I'll get a five bam in. I don't know. You know, it could go a lot of ways, right? I mean, you could see other things that I don't see. But, and I could do seven, eight, nine. Same suit. Even that's pretty. And so... I don't know if five, seven, nine makes sense because of the fact that it's got the pair at the front. Maybe this is my better option right here. And I could do possibly that fourth line down under consecutive run. If I, if I do get uh, the, the eights and all that, I don't know. Maybe this is what I need to do. Last hand one, three, five, seven, nine. Last hand of what? What category last hand? Last hand is uh, you're talking about which hand under one, three, five, seven, nine, Randy. Last hand, which one? What line number? Last line, one, three, five, seven, nine on the right. Oh, five, seven, nine, nine, nine. You're talking about the concealed. Yeah, if I get the fives, I'm missing the other suit for sevens. I mean, it's definitely a possibility, but I don't need the flowers there either. To me, that's a little riskier for me. So, you know, I want to try to maximize what I get in. So the question becomes, do I do this? No, I don't do that because it's seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. Maybe I'll just do that. Two dragons. Okay, whatever. Ooh. So it definitely isn't going to be seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine with the single in there. No way, Jose. Um, mm. Seven, eight, nine. Like numbers with sevens. Yeah, I think I'm going to continue. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm in a bad situation. So if I, you know, if I continue, I don't want to get rid of my sevens. And I would have to pass a pair. So this is a situation where I would consider stopping the Charleston. Because of that. That was, that's my kind of new philosophy that I always say, don't stop the Charleston unless you have one really good hand. But it's don't stop unless you have a good hand or what you need to keep would prevent you from passing a pair. So I think in this case, uh, or do I go and do the seven and the nine and the one? Oh, my goodness. I'm really torn. I'm really torn here. I think in this case, I might have to stop it. I might have to stop it. I never, I I, I'm going to stop it. Charleston stop courtesy pass. And I'll do one because I know they'll take one from me in person. Nobody would take my one. <laughs> Three bam. I got a one back. So. All right. Now it's just bam. I get in. And I know I did not have, uh, well, unfortunately, what I don't like about that is I don't need my flowers. So I'm not going to keep the red. Uh, nope. Red. North. One crack. Seven crack. All right. There's a seven that I can't use. West. Seven bam. And there's a seven bam. And at this point, I can't commit to that, even though I have four. It's no, it doesn't make sense. So, um, 
I have to ignore it. North. East. If it made sense, I would do it. One bam. Two dot. Call. Nine bam. Two dot joker exchange. And again, nine. I can't put another flower. Uh, well, if I had a six, seven, eight. And the nines. Uh, one crack. Two bam. Like numbers, maybe. Line one. We'll see what happens with sevens if I can get some more sevens. Joker swap. Five crack. You guys. Six bam. Give me a, give me a chance. Six, seven, eight, nine. Six bam, seven bam, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. And I think I'm going to get rid of the nines. And if I do like numbers, it will be with sevens. Nine bam, two crack, three dot call, one bam. Oh boy, three dot joker exchange, and he's playing two, three. Um, it could be one, two, opposite dragons, three, four, or two, three, four, five. Ooh, a joker. Yay. Okay. Nine bam. Joker swap. Green. Well, they're not letting me have Nine a joker bam. swap, are they? North. Okay. So now we have the nine cracks. We have seven, eight, nine. Now I got a big decision to make. Um, because six, seven, eight, nine. Little bit of little holes in there. <clears throat> but let's look at it and see what's going on here. So six, seven, eight, and nine. Right there. Six, seven, eight, nine, two suits. I need a good pick for the eight and a good pick for the six. Um, if I do seven flower, seven, eight, nine, I can call the nine. And I need, I'm very weak still on the eight. And there's one seven out already. So um, I think... Let me think about this. Six, seven, eight, nine, or seven, eight, nine. Okay. So th those are probably my best chances. S flower, seven crack, eight crack, nine crack, or six, seven bam, eight crack, nine crack, both in consecutive run. So we've got line three, a possible same suit run on the left side. And the second hand from the bottom on the right side with bams and cracks. So I'm going to go with something in that area. I'll get rid of the flower as being my best option right now. Flower. Four crack. Four dot. Five crack. Three bam. Red. Six crack. West. Five dot. North. Six dot. Eight crack. I'd love that. That, go, that shows me if I do six, seven, eight, nine, or seven, eight, nine, I got to use a joker there now to cover one, eight. Bummer. One bam. Eight bam. Eight dot. Five crack. Two crack, three crack, call south. Another joker opportunity. Green. Nope. Nine dot, eight crack. Another eight crack. Seven dot, uh. red. Killing me. I need another eight crack there. 
So now do I do six, seven, eight, nine, or seven, eight, nine? Well, which am I closer to? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can call the nine crack. Definitely have to call the next eight crack that went out if it's not all the way in, you know, where the end of the wall. There's one seven crack left. Kind of a bummer there for that. Um, the other one would be six, seven, eight, nine. I still need jokers in that eight crack area. I could call the nine crack and I would need one good pick for the six. That's probably my better bet because there's already one seven crack out. So, and there's no nine crack out. Okay. So there it is right there, y'all, um, is my better bet. <clears throat> and I am going to get these because we are now almost, I mean, we're in the middle game little bit into it. Uh, I don't want to hold the flowers too long. If anybody needs them, I'm always hopeful that they'll put finally be forced to call it and put up a joker. But that's what I'm doing right there. Hung, pong, pong, pong. I'll have to call the eight crack. I won't worry about the jokers being available for exchange because there's two out already. And this is what I'm doing. Just hope I get a 6 p.m. or a joker. Flower. 8 dot. 6 crack. 9 dot. Uh, I'll do the flower first. Flower. 8 crack. Okay, I got to call that for a Kong. Call. South. 1 crack. 9 dot. 5 crack. Uh, do I, uh, nope, but I got to get that out. Six crack, south, east, south, <clears throat> green, six crack, seven dot, three dot, call, green. Okay, I've got three dots here, three cracks still. Red. East. Uh, Three dots are not available. Oh, they're not there. Oh, right. They're in Agatha's hand. Wow. There's one way at the beginning. So call East. I thought so. Nine dot. Eight dot. It's, it's interesting with Wes is playing threes and soaps. So that would be. Um, one, two, three, four with the matching. Nope, that's not it. Uh, one, three, five flowers. One, three, five. How many flowers are out already? One, two. Thought there were a few more out. I might hear it as three. Okay. All right. Well, again, 30 tiles left. We're just now into the end game. Um, I still have a chance of winning, so I'm not going to hold back tiles and break my hand up yet. If I give Mahjong, I give Mahjong. I mean, that's the way that goes. So and if it's an obviously hot tile, like 100%, and I don't have enough picks left to make Mahjong, then I'll break my hand up. Four dot. Six bam. Uh, I'd love that. Can't call it. Three bam. Nine crack. All right, I can call that. Call. Seven crack. West. Eight bam. Four dot. I just need one good pick. I mean, I'm not asking for that much, you guys. Six dot. West. Eight dot. Four crack. Two, 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 two. How many two BAMs? I just want to take a quick peek. Okay, so the two BAM is a pretty hot tile, even though there is one out in the very beginning here. It is a hot tile. 19 tiles left. 
Um, I've got four, eight, 12, 16, 16 picks left. I mean, uh, four picks left. I still could win. You know, it's a judgment call at this point. You know, can I win? It's probably going to be very, the chances of me winning are not really likely. But again, it's just a game. We're not playing for money right now. If I were playing for money, I might make a different decision because we are getting down there. And this could be a, a Mahjong. I'm going to take a chance. Two bam. Seven crack. Nope. Two crack. Two bam. Seven dot. How many went out? One, two, three, six. I don't think I have to worry about that. Seven dot. Eight bam. Seven dot. Joker. So now people are breaking up their hands. So you see that, right? We're now at 11 tiles. So I've only got um, four, eight, two picks left. Um, so three BAM is probably a hot tile. I have a feeling one's there. And I think that's it. So, I mean, at this point now, I'm going to just play safe. And I, I, I mean, honestly, I don't know what's going on there. But I know the seven is not needed anywhere. So I'm going to do the seven. And I'm going to break my hand up now and just play safe. I wish I could actually, if I could. If I was really good, I could count the tiles to see if I knew what. Uh, let's just look and see. Threes are there, so it's not three. So the chances are it's not that tile, but it could. I don't know. There's only one three bam out. I'm going to break it up. Seven crack, four crack, six dot, joker. Agatha broke up her hand. Uh, that's safe. Agatha has those. So two dot, eight bam, Joker swap four crack, two bam. Down to three tiles right now, and um, again, I'm not going to take any chance. Even though you know, I know Agatha may need that five, but she, I think she broke her hand up. So seven bam, six dot, one dot, four bam. Wall game. Wall game. Okay. Let's see what uh, Joe was doing. So three, five, one, three, five, seven, nine, line five. Three times five equals 15. Now it's you know, coming in pretty nice. I mean, wow. Uh, and for Wes, one, three, five, seven, nine, line three. And you see it says in here he broke his hand up. So he was doing the one, three, five, and then two, three, four, five with the two suits for Agatha line seven, and she broke hers up. Uh, well, 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 well. I had the six. Look who had my six BM up there, Joe. And let's see. That's it. All right. Okay. Well, we're right at 830 right now, and... It was a fun night, as usual. Let me stop sharing. Okay. So thanks for sticking around. For those of you that stick around and all of you watching from YouTube, I hope you enjoyed tonight. I will see you Sunday night for Siamese if you come on. Uh, then next week on, uh, bye, Rebecca. And then next week on Wednesday, um, I'll be taking off because of the big Majkan event. So I'll uh, see you all good. Please, everybody, be well and practice, practice, practice. Enjoy. Good night.